Hey guys, I think it's finally time for me to retire my Razer Deathstalker. It's been my daily driver for the past 4 years. It's been working well, however, it seems that my hands are looking for something new. And I think I got a perfect replacement here. Meet the Logitech G512 Carbon. Hey what's up guys, it's Mac here and we do a lot of tech review videos like this one in this channel so if you're new, consider subscribing. With that said, let's take a look at our new item for today. So this is the Logitech G512 Carbon. Well Logitech doesn't have a really fancy box unlike other brands like Razer who puts a lot of effort in their packaging. However, Logitech puts a lot of effort in their product itself. It is a mechanical keyboard with three choices of switches that you can choose from. More into that later. At the moment, let's just take a look what's in the box. So inside the box is another box wherein you will find the keyboard itself. Other than this tiny documentation, there's nothing more inside. Now let's check out some physical overview. So this one is crafted an incredibly strong and durable 5052 aluminum magnesium alloy which allows for both a minimal design and a beautiful aesthetics. The rigidity of the 5052 alloy also provides a sturdy, a non-slip chassis that houses a full suite of features for an unbeatable gaming experience. Another thing worth mentioning is that this keyboard is very heavy. Just in case you don't know how heavy it is, just check this out and pause the video. Underneath the keyboard is made out of a sturdy plastic with headphone cutout for your gaming headset cable pass-through. It also has a 6 rubber grips to keep your keyboard in place while typing. The keyboard riser is a bit slanted to keep it aligned and also has a rubber grip on both. It has an additional dedicated USB 2.0 cable that connects to the USB pass-through port to its own input. The cable length on the other hand is somewhere in between 6.5 or 6.8 feet. I mean, look at this, it's very long. So these are the keycaps, they are made out of plastic, a very sturdy plastic and a very nice texture and it doesn't absorb much fingerprint in my opinion. Well, this may depend how sweaty your hands are but for me it's perfect. It also has an RGB lighting that is very vibrant but not too intrusive like the others. It's more like it's saying I'm a keyboard and not a desk lamp. There are no physical buttons for media but however, you can just use the function key and press these buttons over here. And lastly, the lighting indication are for caps lock and game mode only. Now let's check out some features. First, the switches. Apparently, you can choose between three different switches on G512 Carbon. It has the Romer G Tactile, Romer G Linear, and GX Blue switches. If you wanted to hear all of those keystrokes, you could actually check out their website. But since you're watching right now, let me just play the sample sounds for you. To sum it all up, the Romer G Tactile has a discernible bump, the Romer G Linear has a smooth sound keystroke, but if you want the noises of them all, you could just choose the GX Blue switch. I really wanted the smooth feel while typing so I chose the Romer G Linear. I'll be typing in it so you'll be able to hear the actual sound of this switch. If you wanted to see more information about the switches, just visit their website, link in the description below. Now let's talk about RGB. 
This keyboard is Lightning RGB compatible. The G5 top can be customizable per key with approximately 16.8 million colors. Create your own animation or choose from the selection of preset effects. And with LightSync technology, lighting is driven by games, audio, or your screen to deliver the most immersive RGB experience ever, as Logitech claims. And lastly, for the features, we're going to talk about the app called Logitech Arcs Control, wherein you'll be able to control your Logitech peripherals using your phone, which is cool, I guess. This app is available in iOS and Android. So in this app, you'll be able to launch game, change macro, play media, or see your PC statistics. It's a cool feature, but I don't see myself using it. Well, unless I really want to mess up the game of someone who's using my PC. But let me know what you think in the comment section below. Well, I guess that's all that there is, so let's just wrap this up right now. In conclusion, the build material is super sturdy and one of the best out there in the market. The typing experience is awesome, response time during gaming is superb, the RGB lighting has a smooth transition and not too intrusive which is perfect for me. The drivers on the other hand are not user friendly. Jihub is difficult to understand and there's a lot of bugs in my opinion. The Logitech gaming software is okay but figuring things out is really complicated, especially adding new applets for the game that you want. There is no single tutorial out there nor any support or updates in their website. One of the downside of this keyboard that it doesn't have any rest included. For its price point, I think they should have included one. Also worth mentioning that I had an issue in my first purchase that somehow I'm getting static electricity while touching the aluminum part. Wherein I thought it was just me but I noticed that the USB pastor is no longer working. So I conclude that it was uh, shorted inside so I had it uh, replaced and I was able to get this new one today. So if you purchase one of these and getting that constant static, get it replaced right away. Overall, it's an awesome purchase. It sits perfectly on my desk paired with my Logitech G502 Hero. So that's it guys. If you found this video interesting and helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up and share it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.